have things to complain about. I need to go live. You need to have notifications on at all times. Just in case I decide to go live. Whenever. I need an audience in my life. This is what I want my content to be. I want to live my life and I want an audience for it. So what kind of content would that be? I haven't had to fart only, only because I want to do it in the microphone now. I'm not going to have to. Where is that microphone for when I got to do it? Why is there a huge line to get a Nashi today? It's Friday. Friday's Nashi day for people. Friday's cheat day for people. And I'm an influencer, so I told everybody Nashis are now a thing. So now everyone's going to go get a friggin' Nashi. <clears throat> oh, damn it. Why don't I put my gas in the mic? I want to hear what it sounds like. Kiki, I should tell why are you out of breath. Are you scared? Excuse me, because I'm fat and I can't breathe. <sighs> Nashis. Well, Liliana, I have an addiction to Nashis, but I'm. I've been slowing down. I've been eating one instead of five. I mean, two. I'm a stud! The voice isn't strong enough to do Canadian as my talent. No, I want to get my feelings hurt from the judges. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> the fan makes it look easy, breezy, and beautiful. Cover girl! <laughs> you should not be screwing her. Shut up, Sam, because I'm so hot. Starfish? <laughs> I don't remember the lyrics. <laughs> thinking, uh, people probably want, are desperate for attention and want clout like Amber Heard. Amber Turd. Look, I've been shitting beds since it was before it was cool, okay? I'm just joking. <laughs> Where's my credit? In the YouTube algorithm, the people are represented by three separate yet equally important groups. The one that creates, the one that views, and the one that just can't help but react. Under Title 17, I am a member of an elite squad, also known as the Special Viewers Unit. These are the archives. I have things to complain about. I need to go live. You need to have notifications on at all times, just in case I decide to go live whenever I need an audience in my life. This is what I want my content to be. I want to live my life and I want an audience for it. So what kind of content would that be? Like what niche would that be? You never get my notifications? My girlfriend and I joined. Your girlfriend as in like your friend or as in girlfriend as in like girlfriend, girlfriend? It's 6 p.m. in Portugal. <gasps> Portugal, I wanna be in Portugal right now. I wanna be in Ottawa, Ontario. Reality show? Yeah. Yes, and no networks want me so I have to do my own. Okay. The gay kind. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in the middle of nowhere after I eat Nashi and I'm gonna sing and dance. That's what I feel like doing today. I feel like practicing my voice for Canadian Idol. My favorite wig wearing YouTuber. Did you see that thing I posted? That's an actual news article. Some woman, and I just included, I'm thinking, uh, people probably want, are desperate for attention and want clout like Amber Heard. Amber Turd. Look, I've been shitting beds since it was before it was cool, okay? I'm just joking. <laughs> Where's my credit? Anyways. She freaking took a crap in a store, like, and they called, <laughs> they called her a poop trader. <laughs> I want to be known as a poop trader. She took a significant, eight wigs were damaged from the significant defecation. Okay, significant defecation. Like, how are you going to write this editorial and not die? I would not be able to. <laughs> we're not looking at apartments. Are you crazy? You think I'm gonna friggin' go out with a man who lives with another woman? The voice isn't strong enough to do Canadian as my talent. No, I want to get my feelings hurt from the judges. Significant kid. <laughs> Sued for defecation. Imagine bringing that to Judge Judy. I think she would just have a conniption. She would just get her bailiff, the guy there, to walk over and bitch slap them both. That's what she would do. Right, Lacey? Like... I just don't know. I just, like, significant defecation. Like, what did she do? Take five packs of Exile, eat at the worst rated Chinese restaurant, and then just squat, and then, like, I don't know. Did her shit have a sound wave? Like, how did it destroy eight wigs around her? I don't get it. Hi, Miss Holly. Oh my god, Samantha, it is Bay, isn't it? I thought you were done with Nashies. I thought so, too. Hi, at home with Melissa. I'm just gonna get one Nashi though, not two. I'll just get one Nashi and a diet soda. 
and uh, you know. Mm-hmm. Cannot process. Didn't go through. It's like cannot process. I don't know if the tap. Uh, Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Sometimes I don't check my bank account and I just go out and buy something and I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, this car probably has no money. All right. I feel bad. I gotta get a venti. I paid for a grande. This is a fucking trenty. Is it true you're not getting the apartment because people let you use his name in credit? I don't know what I'm gonna do with my living situation. I'm thinking of like. Like before travel visa. We're travel beesing right now. Uh, like I want to travel bees, right? Oh. But <laughs> I can't see over my frog neck. There we go. My neck doesn't move very fluidly in directions. You know, like this might be a danger. All right, I'm gonna get an ashi. Head down to the outhouse if I need to go. Do a music video and then. Ah, uh... oh, it's beauty out. I want to go to a nice beach, Ontario Beach. Let's just visit the different beaches of Ontario this year. It's an affordable way to go to the beach. It's content. There's so many things I can do. I'm very creative, but I'm also stuck in a rut and lazy a little bit. Just a little bit lazy. Therefore, I also have two men yelling at, not yelling at me, but that I've been leading on. I feel like a fucking piece of shit. Hello, where are you today? I don't understand you. Why do you message me and then don't message me back? You know what? I don't know. It's like... I get lonely and then I realize I'm probably not ready to do this shit. And I should just focus on myself so then I change my mind. <laughs> Anyways. I hate wet wipes. I've decided that I hate wet wipes. They're just a waste of time for me. Like, I need to invent something. I need to just invent things to make my life easier. You, listen, wet wipes, okay, the wet wipes I'm using right now, any wet wipes I've been buying, they're flimsy as shit. Like, I don't know if, who do they do these studies on? Like, an average size ass. Like, what is an average, like, what is an average size ass? And, and like, toilet paper, like, I'm sorry, but can you spare a square? Who uses one square? one square unless your vag is this big well okay fine fine but the wet wipes just like using them today when i was going to the bathroom i went for a poo and then i used the personnel wet wipes it's like this big the, the the sheet is this big and it's wet it's this big it looks a little napkin so in anyways in order for me to benefit from this the cleansing effect of a wet wipe i need to like grab about six each wipe each time i wipe i need to pile up six wet wipes so there's half the bag i mean what no 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 anyway i would appreciate it if you know any industrial size <laughs> i'm for real they don't make anything plus size anymore jesus diapers come in different sizes why the hell wouldn't wet wipes uh, i mean they're so small I have to put one like this, then one like this, then one like this, three like this, and then I have to crisscross one like this, one like this, one like this, and then I have to sit back on the toilet and do it again so I can wipe again. Okay? <laughs> Frank. <laughs> like, yeah, I stand up to wipe my ass when I crap, anyways. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's a big job. I have a huge butt, so I'm tired of one. And then 
Your wet, your butt is wet from the wet wipes. This is what I don't understand. I do not like feeling like I have a glass of water in my ass. So, I will not. So anyways, what I end up doing is taking a big fat wad of toilet paper anyway and wiping after I use the wet wipes. So not only am I spending money on wet wipes, I'm also still using toilet paper anyways. I have no use, none. And not just that, I might be getting a UTI because of all the chemicals. So what benefit is this to me really? I guess it gets rid of the dingleberries, it does. It gets rid of the dingleberries. But beyond that, it's just a pain in the ass and I'm just fed up. Why is there a huge line to get a Nashi today? It's Friday, Friday's Nashi day for people. Friday's cheat day for people. And I'm an influencer, so I told everybody Nashis are now a thing. So now everyone's gonna go get a friggin' Nashi. Oh yeah, my car is messed up. Like I cannot drive more than around North Orleans. Like maybe halfway down the long road. It When I start it, it vibrates and it almost doesn't start. So I might stall. I can't go to anywhere out of town. So anyone who wants me to go to town, too bad, sorry. Hi, can I take your order, please? Hi, can I have an Nashville chicken sandwich, please? A uh, combo? Just the sandwich. Anything else? And I'll also get a medium Diet Coke, please. Medium Diet Coke, okay. With extra ice? Driver, please. Thank you. Anyways, I love, I really like Bizu, but I got a bail. My house is disgusting. You think he's gonna come over and not leave? I'm doing a music video today. What do you think he's thinking about me? Fat lesbian, <laughs> fat butch lesbian. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Whoa. Gay rights. I have problems introducing the fupa to, do, to new men. I'm good. People think the fupa is muffin top. The fupa. Stop throwing birds. Stop throwing rocks at birds. This kid is throwing rocks at birds. And her parents are just letting her. Oh, she's giving them food. Sorry. They're still trying to be relevant, I see. I think that would be fun to watch, though. I sent um, Nader that video, <clears throat> and I remember him, like I remember joking about like, would you ever box Monty and and, and Roman? <laughs> Tiff. No one cares about Roman or Nader, so I guess the boxing match will happen. Nader's like, no, no boxing. This will be real fight. I'm like, no, we don't real fight people. This is for fun. Just chill out. <laughs> But then I thought, I like this idea of this, like, boxing thing. You know how, like, Jake Paul, all of them do it. And, um, <clears throat> I think it would be entertaining as hell. Even, like, Amber Lynn and I boxing, like, reaction channels or, I don't know. I think that would be funny. I would definitely get in the ring and box somebody. I would fucking do it, man. I would do it. I would train and do it. Uh. <clears throat> No kicking or biting or eye poking. Regular fight, anything goes. Exactly. <laughs> like, regular fighting, no gloves. No, you're not really fighting them. <laughs> I need another fucking Nashi. I have boundaries now, and I know you didn't believe that, but when I said that, I'm, I mean it. When I said I have boundaries now, I mean it. So, this girl. You know what it is? Nashies are back. And look, I'm not freaking out. I have Nashies now to come for me. No, but honestly, <clears throat> I feel a lot less stressed out, a lot happier when I'm not worrying about. Like I do, I do want every. I just want everyone to be happy, and you know, I don't want YouTube to be like so dramatic and, and negative and stressful. Like, I feel. I wish all of us could all work together to like make money. Like, <clears throat> not make money, but like, come up with some kind of. Yeah, like. Not YouTube pyramid scheme, but like some kind of like entertaining network of like something where we like we get a bunch of YouTubers together, the same, you know, same level of fame or whatever. For me, obviously, I have more subscribers than a lot of people I watch and deal with. 
I don't care about that. I really don't care about like <clears throat> becoming famous. I just want to have fun. So like, I think it would be cool to take, get like a bunch of smaller YouTubers, maybe even, you know, medium sized channels or whatever, smaller channels, but established channels like that are in the YouTube partner program. And I don't know, maybe like organize something. I don't know. The Monty and Roman and Nader boxing thing is perfect because they we all live in the same province. So it wouldn't be like a big deal. We could rent like a boxing ring at a gym and uh, that would be so fucking fun. We could sell tickets. We could make it like an event and sell tickets. <laughs> We'd have to hype it up because no offense, Roman. No one knows who the fuck you are. Oh, well, people might know. Okay, this might bother you, Roman, but we might have to say Chantal's exes fight in the ring because you're not my ex, but I did meet you on a dating site, right? And we did make out. Just fucking admit it. Just admit it. You know? Wait for me. <laughs> Roman's like, we're not going to fight for Chantal, so if you want something else. All right, you guys will fight for BBJ. Who else would I like to see fight? I want to box Charlie Gold. She would kick my fucking ass. No doubt. I'm a wuss. No, I'm not. You know what? I'm crazy. I can fight. I'm going to get strong. Who else do I want to beat up? Cannibal Beauty. Oh, the Beezers versus the Queen Beezer. This would, there's so many things we can do. Look, some people are very private. Especially some people from different cultures. Like some, it's known like some cultures are more reserved and you know what I mean? So I'm like a nightmare for these people. So they want to, like, these private people. If you're a private person, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. I won't tell your secrets. I mean, I'll tell secrets that aren't detrimental. Like, who gives a shit? Like, what is that ruining your life if people know you like to kissing me? <sighs> really? Wow, how did I end up here? Hi, can I have two... Um, beef, crunchy taco supreme, the Doritos ones. Two Doritos supreme, number yeah. four, four, four. Uh, no, no combo, just the two tacos, please. Sure. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Okay. Let's throw my Nashi wrappers. I need a personal trainer. We're gonna go home and make a list after everything I said I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. Hold on. Yeah, Taco Bell last night. What's his face? There she is, Booty Beauty. She's still eating junk food. I want to punch Roman. Holland Nays. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> he does things his way, his cooking his way. Nader, if you're watching, all I will say is have fun with it. Have fun with the criticism. I think, <clears throat> you know, you claim. If you come online and claim you're something, people are going to challenge it, no matter who you are. Like, if you if you say you're a chef, people are going to challenge it. If you say you're a psychiatrist, people are going to challenge it. We know you cook things your way, so just have fun with it or something. We should do cook-offs and, and, and fight-offs and, and, I don't know, hire a cleaning service? I gotta wait till I, well, I guess I could cut down on the Nashies to afford it. <coughs> Excuse me. The other day I was driving with Pete's and my GPS said, there's an object in the road ahead and then I hit something. Like, could you not, like, I don't know if it was an animal. I don't know what it was. I hit something and then, like, a few moments later Pete's was like, oh, what is that smell? So I don't know if I hit a bag of garbage or an animal. I didn't, like, I didn't see an object in the road, even though I was, like, had my eyes on the road. Object in road ahead of you. Maybe it came out, like, really quick. Anyway. I really, really don't think it was an animal probably garbage or something stupid. My car is gonna break down. My car is gonna break down. So, there's a nice trail here, but I'm kind of scared of it. This is a nice trail. We should go down. Ah, nice toilet in case I need to. The outhouse. It's comforting. <clears throat> I want to go for a walk with the guy on this path. I'm gonna go home and shower. Why am I croaking? I need to get a different song in my head. No, as I was saying, that was my point. I don't feel like singing love songs anymore because I don't feel in love. Like, I don't. I don't. 
I swear to God. It's sad. I like being in love and listening to love songs. It's like one of my favorite things to do ever. Fall in love and listen to love songs. And apply them to my imaginary life. It's fucking sad, man. And now I can't do that. Because I don't love anybody right now. Somebody's moving in here. Or are they moving out? Are they moving out? Because that means one of these places is opening up. They probably want me to get the fuck out of here. They're bigger. The townhouses are bigger and have a garage. I would love to have a garage. The only thing is with a townhouse, you have to like, you have to shovel your own effing driveway. Which I mean, I would do, but. <clears throat> and just when it feels right. I'm bipolar. I'm something, I don't know what. I'm going to play Mario. A change of clothes and content would be great. But I'm not putting my- I'm not putting a gun on camera because all you're gonna do is <coughs> be like, Did you see Chantel's fupa? Chi Chi Lamb, all the trolls are gonna come in and embarrass me. Get on that sky wheel. I'm gonna do it. Sky wheels are for making out, okay, and finger banging. Don't tell me that didn't happen. You need a treadmill, not a scooter. I didn't break the last scooter. Let's do a picnic at the Tulip Festival for sure. I'm gonna go plant some content. But we can't have Nashies anymore. Ah. Oh. I wake up. My body, you know what it is? My body's used to eating Nashies every day now. Oh. Look at my nostril shape. And then I'll meet- maybe I'll meet this guy later. Outside of my house. Kiki, I should tell why are you out of breath? Are you scared? Excuse eh. me, because I'm fat and I can't breathe. Nashies and well, Liliana, I have an addiction to Nashies, but I'm I've been slowing down. I've been eating one instead of five. I mean two. eBay. How many people are in my thirteen bucks for Lachine? You can get vintage Lachine postcards. Are you okay, Chubby? Are you gonna be the boy? You have a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice. You can be the good boys or you can be the bad boys. Which kind of boys is you gonna be? Come back with a poem and postcard ideas. I wanna find- I wanna make postcards. I think that would be better. Each postcard- each year- each month a different theme. Tragic. Oh, I wanna see your poem! I am leaving you guys, Lindsay. Soon. Right now. I just gotta go. I'm gonna come back. <laughs> Expose your banned words. I will. I might clean after Brooke, but I need to do some things right now. I'll be back. Bye, guys. <laughs> I just, like, added a couple of new songs to the playlist, but this is my old playlist. And even some of the songs from Dee's playlist are on here. Because I think I told you, I think Natter told you I went over there to hang out. And then things were okay with us, and then I lost it on her again, because... I heard that video. I need to tell you guys about, not about that, but like, uh, some of the music I like, so. I said, I'm gonna steal some of your songs from your Spotify. <laughs> and then, Natter, All Night, Google, play Arabic music. And then I was like, no, play. And the I wanted to hear 80s music. And Google was like, sorry, when Natter was requesting music. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so some of the songs you hear are, that's where I got the inspiration from, because I'm sure she's going to be watching my video and be like, that bitch is playing my Spotify list, and she's obsessed. No, I'm not. Okay? I know you take that. Take your mama! It smells like cologne. I think I want to, I think I'm gay. I don't know. Okay, here's the thing. Anytime I watch porn, 
I don't like watching men because I don't like the look of a wiener. Okay, I'm attract sexually attracted to women. Men too. Men romance. I don't know. Uh, I've always been like that. I think I'm bi. I don't fucking know. Drive to get my paneer instead of ordering Uber Eats every day. I save fifteen to twenty dollars. No, ten dollars tip. Ten dollars fee. Twenty bucks a day. I save to go get my paneer. It reminds me a lot of like just lesbian love in general. Because Melissa Estridge is like, she sang very passionate like songs about being a lesbian. In the 80s was, you know, more of a bigger deal, I guess. We gotta go! You guys, I'm delusional. Here was my thinking about the apartment, okay? I'm just gonna put this to rest. I am getting a chunk of money on payday. I make enough money that I should have a life to show for it. So you know what? Dang. Not Indian guy. Hi. So, dude, look at this friggin' bike. Umbrella Corporation. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, so my dream was to, look, I seen Natter's video of Mount Royal area, and I started researching Mount Royal area. Somebody was like, you know, rent's really cheap there. I, I want to tell this guy, nice bike. Nice bike, man. <laughs> so, Resident Evil fan. Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, so, um, no, no, boy, no, here's the thing. No, not in Lachine, because Lachine, there's Lachine, and then there's downtown Montreal, there's Mount Royal area. So I was looking at, like, there's, like, nice places, downtown Montreal, like, it's really cheap. I spend a lot on hotels. I'm not just thinking just for, I'm not thinking just for Nader. I'm thinking of, like, because somewhere, like, I was starting to talk to a lot of different people in Montreal, and I just pictured, like, waking up, like, the pictures I saw of the apartments, they have, like, you know, like, those old-style Montreal apartments downtown, and they have, like, those, like, um, Juliet kind of, like, patios and, like, a little studio, and so just, like, drinking coffee and, like, hey, guys, like, doing vlogs there and being, like, you know, Hey, this is like my other place, blah, 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 kind of thing. I don't know. I was just daydreaming, all right? But it's, you know. Do you know how much hotel rooms are? I think God wants me to get a motorcycle. I think you're right. I gotta go get my food. Why spend money on something you don't need? That's what I mean. So this money I'm getting, I want to use it to, like, catch up on my taxes and, like, save money and like i have goals like i want to have a house but i want to travel so but then a part of me also wants to love and romance and a family and stuff and then a part of me wants to be like a freaking like full-on freaking like stud like i want to kind of be a stud and take a work girl out on a date and smell nice i live in montreal trust me montreal people are particularly hostile at overweight women you don't want to be here alone Fedora Chick, I forgot. Hey, how you doing, by the way? Anyways, Fedora Chick, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do due to those hostile people? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna say right now. Watch. Can you see here? Yeah, okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say, manger mes fesses, mon ami. Hostile. Hostile people don't belong in Montreal. Okay? <sighs> Did I take my medication? Whoa! Look at this guy. Whoa. Hey, men's haircuts. I want to go see if that guy I used to have sex. Whoa, men with turbans are friggin' hot. I seriously like turbans. And I like men with long I like just I just like human beings right now. What the hell am I ovulating? Can you ghost ovulate? And all your friends say he is the one. His love for you is true. What do I smell like, Quinoa Trauma? A stud. Oh, 
summer. I'm gonna plan some camping. Yes, camping. All right, when we get home, we're planning summer. And if I don't do any of it, you can unsubscribe and never watch me. See you, hi. <laughs> I wanna go camping, I'm so excited. Shy, don't worry, baby. I wanna plan things to do with my money and not just eat and do drugs. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's where my money goes. Seriously, $20? How much is 20 bucks a day? That's like $500 a month on Uber Eats fees versus I can afford an apartment in Montreal. I can afford a studio in Montreal just by not ordering Uber Eats every single day. How fucking stupid am I? No, I don't deserve it. But I'm a food addict, so for me, my life is more tolerable when I'm eating or doing something stimulating, I guess. I don't know. Some people cannot function without, like, Didi, and, for example, wine. And really, I called her a drunk, but really, what the fuck cares, like, if you have a glass of wine every night, who am I to judge? I eat a wheelchair every day. So, I mean, wheelchair, glass of wine, some people have a cigar and a glass of whiskey. You know what I mean? It just, it really just depends on the person. Um, so, yeah. No. No, uh... Anyway, yeah, it does cost five. I'm gonna plan my veneer. Like, I need to stop eating it every day. Like, it's just I can't afford to. I can't afford to eat a wheelchair and veneer every single day. Like, nobody can. Like, unless you're the weekend. Like, seriously. <laughs> oh my god, if I was rich like the weekend, I would have a full pantry of wheelchairs. But then, see, maybe the fact that I would have a pantry of wheelchairs. Maybe that's why I'm not super rich, because I would probably piss away my money. And like, I think scaling back and just like being less of a consumer and more of a saver, <laughs> I need to really do that for real. I'm like, I'm dead serious about it. Like I never was, you know, I'm bad with money. I'm one of those people that I love to spend money. And it's not a good thing. It's like. Like, I could easily spend like 200 bucks a day on just fuck whatever. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Which is expensive. Wheelchairs are the edibles gummies. They're called wheelchairs because, haha, they make you. Uh, you see how I am on them? I'm like, uh, yeah. But I will tell you, best sleep in the world. <laughs> I don't know, it's just my thing. I just, I, I really hate. Some people just, that's just how I am. I just my preference thing, I guess. I don't know. I like feeling calm over up. Like, you know how some people like to drink and do other kinds of things because it makes them, you know? I hate that. I don't like that feeling. And that's why I think it was easier for me to, to switch from you know what to edibles. Because I prefer the feeling of edibles. So, but the thing is, is now I'm kind of dependent on that. I mean, honestly, like, I had a feeling like, I had a fear that, like, I need to keep occupied because I've been so occupied with, like, Natter, obviously, in the past year that it kept me from, like, being with him all the time and eating his food kept me from thinking about my food addiction as much. But the food addiction is still there. As you can see, I'm driving to get paneer and Nashi's every day. I'm trying to keep binging at bay, but I'm kind of just living how I feel, like, you know? just like day on a day-to-day -day basis and I don't really like I do like that feeling of waking up and being like I can do whatever the fuck I want today but at the same time it's kind of like an empty feeling it's like I should be striving towards something you know I should be giving my life more meaning I should be consuming less I should be doing a lot of things and I think it's just really depressing me a little bit it's like my soul like my spirit depressing my spirit not doing things that I know I should be doing you know what I mean for myself so Anyways, it's just a trippy time in my life right now. Yeah, of course it's all friggin' public. <laughs> Walk to the edge of the earth for you. I don't think it'll for you. I would stand up and go to work for you? What the fuck? No, I won't do that. <laughs> I would stand up and go to work for you? That's so sweet. I would support you, basically. <laughs> Soccer! I'm just joking. Shut up. <laughs> Damn you in your birthday suit. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love with you. I'm just gonna go pee. Bronski beat. Look at this.
built in collaboration with this is a hell of an outhouse see you get somewhere to put your your stuff here i'm not gonna actually go i'm not gonna actually touch that but yeah this is the outhouse i do not consent there's just this is like a permanent outhouse <laughs> it's like a it's like a cozy outhouse Actually, this is a good place to go for a walk because if you see here, there's like a nice path and then there's the outhouse. You need the uh, shit exhaust. You don't have to worry about the fumes blowing up. <laughs> run away, run away, turn away. Hi guys. Hi guys. I gotta go home. Pickup is secured. Yep. We stopped at the outhouse. Let's go home. Do some pixie dust. <laughs> Wheelchair gummies, areola? No, there's 68. It's 68 for the gummy. 2,000 milligram gummy, and then it's like fucking. Um. $5, I give a $5 tip every time. Then it's like $10 delivery. But because I'm a frequent flyer, sometimes it's, usually I get 20% discount or free shipping, uh, free delivery or something stupid. And they usually give me a free bag of weed. <laughs> you guys better take advantage of the long live streams because once I get a life, it's not going to continue. You're being spoiled right now. Now that I have no life, you're you're being spoiled. But once I get a life, you're gonna you're gonna be sad. I just watch. You guys, you you came with me to the outhouse. You literally see. You think I'm doing a drug deal or something while I'm there? That's what I'm gonna do, Chantaller. I'm gonna eat the whole thing tonight and see what happens. Mmm. Look! Is 20 bucks a day $500 a month for real? I haven't digested the... <laughs> Uh-oh. White shirt. No. Or anybody I like. Who do you like? Who do you like? If you had a choice, who do you like on YouTube, like for me to be friends with? <laughs> it's cheese and butter chicken sauce. Well, no, it's called paneer macani. <sighs> <laughs> beauty. I was born bad like Cruella. Cruella de Vil. Who has a CPAP? How can anyone think you were normal at one point? Does anyone remember your story times? Nick and Hungry Fat Chick, yeah. Candy Godiva? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jacqueline Paneer is good. Box Mountain, I realize this is not healthy and this is the last time. I call myself a shelf, but my falafels are stale. I broke her heart like she broke her scale. She can't wipe and air dries her snapper. I gave her the Gano because I went in without a wrapper. <laughs> that was good I feel like I abandoned Amber she is how I found you I never watch her anymore one because she's the morning I'm watching you or I want so much I don't have the time to watch <laughs> oh you found me through Amber Lynn really I've been watching Amber Lynn since the, like the beginning too 
I remember finding her and being like, why do people hate on her? <laughs> I don't get it. I still don't get it. Do you and Natter ever cuddle and talk about the Jesus booger? Oh my god, Kit Kat. It's actually funny you say that, because yes, we do. <laughs> or we did before, yeah. Every single time we cuddled, I would bring it up. I'd be like, I, honestly, this is like, I'm like in real life, kind of how I am. Like, I would be laying there, like on the hairy pillow, and just being like, instead of the llama, it'd be the hairy pillow, and I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, what? I'd be like, the Jesus booger! <laughs> Because he, okay, the Jesus booger, this is gross. He had an ashtray full of cigarette butts that were all, looked like crosses. One cigarette butts were like this in the ashtray, looked like a cross. And he, he snot rocketed in bed. He went, and a huge booger stuck to the, right away, flung, stuck to the cigarette cross and went like this. <laughs> So he's like, he's like, look at my booger, look at my booger, it looks like Jesus. <laughs> That's what I mean. Sometimes we would just be silly like that together, but then I would tell you guys about it and it would hurt him. It would make him mad. And like, that was a big problem because he's like, I'm silly, like with you like that in private, not with them. I don't want people I don't know seeing me like this. So like, I get that. Yeah, we did have really good moments like that that you guys never seen. That's why I'm saying. Weird. <laughs> what did you think we would do? Sit in the, sit together on the city and watch documentaries together. Actually, we did. We watched a lot of travel documentaries. I love watching those. You guys like those? A Jesus booger is one of your good memories. I can't. Well, when you put it that way, yeah. <laughs> and it's actually, Miss Holly, a fond memory when I think of his Jesus booger I feel a twinge in my heart I'm gonna save this for later when I'm hungry the problem is I don't get hungry for paneer precious moments figurine Jesus booger the CPAP resc rescue <laughs> I would just leave this out and waste it. That's another thing I waste a lot of money. Like, actually, I could probably get two meals out of one paneer. Should we go upstairs? Take my meds? I don't know where they are. <coughs> I want to get married with my cheese it ring. Do you take this woman? Do you take this buffalo to me? <laughs> this bra? Okay, so... <laughs> Ow! So it just holds your boobs up. It's a strapless. You said that about Amberlynn's knuckles. My knuckles are fine. New men don't want to hear you're not over your ex. They move on. And do you think he's meeting people and being like, I'm so hung up on my ex. He doesn't even tell people he has an ex. <laughs> it's non-existent in the back. <laughs> so, look at this guy. You fat mother effer. Hey. Hey. 
Can we kiss Sam on the way? Let's kiss his fat, ugly face. You're so cute! <laughs> I'm just going for now. I have wrinkles. I still have sleep in my eyes. Bye. Life is beautiful. Why would she clean right now? It's 1029 and Friday night. <laughs> I have nothing else to do. I'm not going out. I'm having a boring fucking weekend getting my life together. Before next week, I have a busy week deciding what I'm going to do with my fucking life. In a tizzy. I thought maybe you guys could help you decide what I'm going to do with my life. I also thought maybe we could do karaoke because I was on Bay Nation. That's why I didn't want to leave because it's so fun hearing them sing. I love karaoke. I love it. And I love, I especially love listening to karaoke. I'm weird like that. I love it. Clean the pig's side. I know this weekend we should get it all clean. And then I just have to worry about my... Oh. Abra, I'm not gay for Dee Dee. If I am gay. I'll just say it that way. Actually, you look more like my type. Cute. Dark hair. I'm just not attracted to librarian lady look. Not, not to be like a look shamer, it's just not my type. And Lambo Lambo's definitely my type, yes. I'm a stud! Austin's Beezers! I'm not saying she's an amazing person. Well, duh. You guys have to, like, morally find a way to accept hanging out with me. That's sad. <laughs> You're compromising your morals to hang out with me? I feel really honored. <laughs> stud arc. Seriously, I want to get, like, a diamond earring. And fucking nice cologne. <laughs> I messaged him and told him I'm gay. He just went, LOL. I don't know anymore. I'm so confused about my own self. I'm not sure what I am. I've just been smoking a lot of weed. I had like, a, I didn't have a, it's not a wheelchair. I tried a different one tonight. It's a, uh, a different brand of edible. It's not as good. Just find a better person, male or female. That's <laughs> Caribbean man has not messaged me back. Maybe he just wanted sex. No, I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm talking to the Moroccan guy. And he's so nice. And he's so... I'm more attracted to him, I think, anyway. But I'll have to talk French, like, all the time. But maybe my French will get a lot better. But he has, like, cute animals. He has his own place. <laughs> he's just, uh, I don't know, maybe someone to hang out with. But he lives in Montreal, so... I'll have to, like... I don't know. Maybe see him next week sometime, or I don't know. I need to get my life together before I see anybody. But he's so nice and patient about it, you know? Like, he's not pushy. Like, it's not a red flag. He's, like, respectful of my need for space right now. You need an overweight man who is quirky and has a little ability to put up with your shit. Oh, he might be in the room next to you. Yeah, no, that's my friend there. <laughs> What is a white snake? Oh, I don't know, Lambo. I don't know. It just like made sense at the time, you know. Do you think you're gay now because you're listening to Melissa Etheridge? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> so if I watch gay porn, maybe that's why. Maybe I'm Les. Most women watch gay porn. Well, doesn't that make us gay? What? Every woman watches lesbian porn? Seriously? So true. Women are hotter in porn. And I think it's just like a turn on to see another, like, if you're seeing somebody, like a woman get turned, get off, it's like, it's like you're, you're a woman too. So, you know, like you can, it's like you are too. You know what I mean? So maybe that's why women like it. I don't know. I don't fucking know. That's so weird. I thought it was like only gay women who like it. That's so weird. So then what makes you gay? Would you rather always have a tickle in your butthole or you rather always have a case of BV? Ooh. I think there's a cream for both, so I would probably take the butt itch. I don't know. I think there's some women I get, like, they would be like, no. You know, like, are you ever at, like, I do this. I play this, like, with they les game. And that's so, I don't mean to offend people, okay? I, I just want to put that out there. This is just, like, for entertainment, but 
if I come to a stop and the light's red, I look over and if there's a like a fucking minivan and there's like a woman smoking and she looks like her name is Linda and she has glasses and bangs from the 80s and yellowing hair from nicotine stains and she looks to be about 63. And I ask myself, would she friggin' like, does she have, like, does she watch lesbian porn with this woman? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, just based on their profile, like, who they are, you just wonder if they would, like, if they would, like, experiment with a woman. I don't know. I wonder the stupidest things when I look at people. I don't know why. I really don't. You think about women being gay this often, maybe you are. That's what I'm saying. I'm not sure. That's why I said I think I am. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> For real. Because I've always been like that. Like my first O ever was with a woman with a was with a woman. I've had good sexual encounters with women and then afterwards I just I don't feel anything. I don't feel I feel like I want to go home or go to bed. I don't feel like I wanna be around them anymore. <laughs> like I just wanna go home. Like I don't I don't feel like I wanna cuddle or like but if I'm with a man that I love, then yeah, I feel like you know, cuddling and doing it again soon. You know what I mean? You pull up to a stoplight and you look over to your left and you see a large balding woman making rat face with her paneer stained teeth at her phone, then going knuckle deep in her nose. Rufus, this is your favorite version of me, which is that? Single and ready to mingle or bald and lonely? Bald and lonely. Look, I have you guys, I'm so open with you guys and like to be with somebody who's so private and like, it's such a problem. Like, no, I can't be in a relationship. Like, I'm not private. <laughs> so, I just want to have, like, a bunch of different friends and see different people. And especially since I know he's doing that. Like, I'm, I'm not stupid. Like, I was. Yeah, like, I was, like, willing to just be blind for a long time and, like, give all of myself to somebody who doesn't even give 2% of themselves to me. Like, that's just, I'm not doing that anymore. Suck like my ball sack might be a turnoff. Oh well. I know I'll have to act more like a lady if I want to get a man. I'm not in a rush. If I want to do it, I can have do it whenever I want. Maybe I should go on a dating app and try a woman out. Like try having a date or something with a woman and see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, just like I get embarrassed, just think I feel shy just thinking about it. Like it feels weird to me. The idea of meeting somebody, like a woman for sexual reasons, kind of excites me a little bit. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. <clears throat> Is the AC on? Hold on. <laughs> oh, the AC. It's going up my pant leg into my crack. I don't want to move right now. Turn around, every now and then I get a little bit gassy, and you never come around. Turn around. Fucking shit. Wait, oh, I'm hot. Where's my fugo? Get over here. I'm hungry. Can someone type, ask Pete's to get me some snacks? <laughs> You're nasty. <coughs> Let's see if this is better. Okay, this is better. Hello, my name is Foodie Beauty, and welcome to my show tonight. I'm calling the crisis line. All right, Passion Tim in the crowd. Please don't. Everyone throw eggs at Passion Tim. <laughs> Tree lady. Turn around. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. The fan makes it look easy, breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. You should not be screwing her. Shut up, Sam, because I'm so hot. Starfish? <laughs> I don't remember the lyrics. <laughs> I was wanting to go into a department. You ever see those videos? So you go into a department store, you pick up the phone, and <laughs> the overhead phone, and you fart in it. I should just use the microphone in public and see what people's reaction is. <laughs> Like, go to Adonis and be like, yes, may I have the spicy olives, please? I bet you the manager will get bewildered and be like, ma'am, you have to turn this off in my store. <clears throat> and I'll say, I was born with a disability where I cannot talk above the C octave, and you are discriminating against me using my voice to ask for someone to pass me the fucking lemons. I'm just kidding. 
Uh, oh, damn it. Why don't I put my gas in the mic? I want to hear what it sounds like. Uh, uh, oh, my hand by Gaga beats. Yes. Next time I listen to... Oh, well, I'm going to listen to it. Why has it not been live today? I have no clue. Well, I don't know. He's probably getting drunk with Didi and Shushu. I don't fucking know. Hi, Granny. That's what I mean, like... Why would you, like, have a boyfriend you don't know what they're doing? Do you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not going to. I know it's a Friday. I'm so, I feel so old. I'm so tired on the weekends. I don't even care about, like, partying. I just, like, take my wheelchair and go to bed and eat. Clearly, I don't even care anymore at this point. Like, I, I don't want anything to do with him romantically like that. I'm not going to be with someone like that. No, sorry. Not, it's, we're not good for each other that way. And that's it. It's done. But yeah, no, he's definitely... I, I realize, like, he's not boyfriend material. It's never going to be for me anyways. It's not going to happen. It's not... We're not meant to be like that. I mean, fuck. It's like... If you have a boyfriend, would you not be with them right now? Instead, he's, like, with another woman getting drunk. I mean, it's fucking stupid. I'm not, I'm not ever putting myself through that. No. No way ever in a million years. Sorry. Friends with benefits material, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. So. I think Bizu wanted to ask because I, I told him I need more time and then I didn't hear from him. <laughs> but the Moroccan guy said to take all the time I want. So he's so nice and sweet. You can see him reacts and stuff. Why are people obsessed with you, Austin Caesar? Look, I don't care. Austin's visa got fed up with my shit, got very emotionally involved, fed up with my shit, whatever. A lot of you guys have done that. So whatever. I don't care. Let's just fucking ma all make up and move on. Uh, you know. I want to be honest with you guys always. And so I, I know I'm going to take a hit for, for, for saying certain things, but see like just how i felt like five minutes ago when i opened my phone and i accidentally see his face or something i miss him ah his deep into alcohol is in a flesh on top of the front you shouldn't get bullied austin's visa and you're always welcome here and we are friends i mean obviously like like you guys know what i mean by that <laughs> friends whatever we're all community of support it doesn't matter if we're bffs or not like we're all a community of support in a way um he talks dog shit on you i'm sure of it yeah Parasocial. No, because I know I know you really like when you made a video about like Matter and Didi, I know you really were like you were like invested in the situation, like you had a strong opinion about them. You know, but I just <laughs> Yeah, I know Austin, you did, yeah. I know you called me. I know you guys care about me, and I do care about you guys. Obviously, like if I heard something happen to my beezers, one of my beezers I'd be sad. Of course. I'd rather you tell us if you're seeing him than try to hide it. Yeah, you know, the only, I mean, unless I can't. <laughs> or, you know, because um, what's more important is to me when you're in a relationship with someone or trying to work on something with someone is respecting their, you know, their wish for privacy. I mean, it would never work if you, if I keep going behind his back, like, you know, like, <laughs> I would spend time at his house, and then I would go home, and, like, I would be, like, before I would leave, I'd be, like, I love you, and everything's okay, yes, everything's okay, and then I would leave, immediately go online and shit talk him, and that, that like, that was because, I'm seeing him now, seeing him now, no, I mean, I would be in Montreal a lot, I've been live all the time, I'm not, um, things are not how they used to be. Like, he's really, like, living up there now, and so it's not like, you know, 
And that's why we wanted to like get together and talk about like, cause just like respecting each other's privacy more online or how we're gonna proceed with stuff. Do we wanna like, I don't know, just like stuff like that. Mike's memorial stream. I have not been in the right frame of mind to do that. I haven't been off drugs. I haven't even done that though, you're right. I kind of just want his like memory to be pe like in peace. You want peace of stocks because you want to see everyone. That has never been important to you with Natter. You've been openly violating his privacy for a year. I feel like it's just been hard to turn off. Like Yeah, I mean, I didn't care about his privacy when he, we would fight. I didn't care because I was impulsive and angry, right? And I felt wronged. So I would want to like bitch about it because like I didn't care. I wanted him to fucking pay for it. You know what I mean? Like I didn't care. But my friend, a friend put it to me. Like if you both had no sexual organs, would you hang out with each other? And probably not. Well, no, that's not. But like for me, I did like hanging around with him. Like when it was good, like, yeah, he made me laugh. We like he's he was pleasant to be around. I'll stay up a little longer. You're not blocked, Miss Holly. Why would I block you? Keep your farms will keep digging into his shit as long as he's on YouTube. Who Natter? I don't think he cares about that as much as like he just doesn't want me like talking shit about him and a whole block of cheese. Block Lambo? No way. What kind of women do you like? I don't know. I don't. I really don't. Why do you respect Nader when he doesn't respect you? Because it's respecting somebody. How I treat somebody is not a, how about how they treat me. I would treat people how I feel morally like I would treat somebody. How I want to treat somebody. <laughs> you know, that's how I am. She makes it public and people take advantage of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's the name of the game, Austin Speezers. I haven't had to fart only, only because I want to do it in the microphone now. I'm not going to have to. Where is that microphone for when I got to do it? 